Hi. Now in this session, we will look at a more realistic uh, scenario. The scenario here that uh, uh, individual uh, insured at age X pays premium for the life insurance at the beginning of the year. And when death occurs, the, uh, the estate will receive the uh, uh, benefit amount at moment of death. So this is like kind of semi-continuous. It's not uh, either discrete or continuous. So the situation here, as I mentioned, you have an individual age X, X plus 1, X plus 2, all the way to X plus K, X plus K plus 1. And the individual at the beginning of the year, you know, like uh, life insurance, there is a premium that is paid at the beginning of each month. Or, But now we focus yearly. Later on, we'll come to the monthly or uh, different periods. But at different beginning of the year, a premium P is paid at the beginning of the year. And last the premium is paid at P here because death occurs here death at moment of death the individual uh, the estate will receive the benefit of one dollar or one unit of insurance at moment of death right at moment of death so uh, now there is uh, no payment here no uh, coming in so this one is going out same logic we use the l loss at random variable we take the present value of benefit right the present value because one dollar is vt because death happens here at time t and we subtract from it the present value of the premium so it's p it's annuity due because it's at the beginning of the year until death t right this is the present value and now in moving this is present value moving the actuarially present value now we take the expected value of l we set it equal to zero right on average uh, this insurance will make zero profit on average uh, over large p uh, number of insured and we need to calculate the level uh, premium that uh, uh, sets this equation to zero the expected value of l and this is the equivalence principle now this one, the VT, the expected value of VT, let me write it one more time, it's always good to review. P, expected value of A, T. We know that because the expected value of VT is A, and this is continuous, it's at moment of death, full, uh, and this is the P, and now A, not continuous, the uh, premium is paid at the beginning of the year, so it's not continuous, and this is for age X. And this is here that he actually we should have replaced it with k plus one because the last payment is at the beginning of the year k so because at the beginning gets k plus one right and this is we set it to zero then what you get here is the p because it's semi-continuous we do you need to differentiate it between the continuous case and the discrete case so we put the ax here because to say the payment is uh, of the insurance pay, uh, benefit is paid at the moment of death. So we need to differentiate it. And then this one becomes AX divided by AX. And what you recognize here, there is no bar. To say that there is no bar here, discrete, uh, uh, discrete uh, a premium. And there is A capital with bar uh, uh, attached to the premium to tell us that this is a whole life insurance that is paid continuously, right? It's simple. What's the relationship between this one and the fully discrete case? Now, fully discrete case. And because fully discrete case, we have the life table, we can calculate easier. So how we can move from here to here? If we use assumption of YDD, YDD uniform distribution of uh, death, if you assume UDD, what we can do is we can say PA 
ax ax here we know that this can be expressed i over delta right of ax right and this one will become here of a this one does not change the denominator right let me write it here and what you recognize this one is in numerator so what we can write also p a x is equal to i over delta a x over a uh, small x then this one is p the regular uh, the regular uh, p let's take one example recall last time we used life table we used life table uh, we, when you use life table last time we calculated that pro, uh, uh, premium for uh, 70 or not continuous we calculated premium 70 equal to 0 three five six five seven from last from last session and this one we calculated using life table right. so now can we calculate what is the question is find p there is no bar here so it's p uh, this one but what we wanted to find is semi-continuous. So many times, because life tables are there, and then you can calculate the continuous one based on the life table. Straightforward, we can write I delta multiplied by B70. And I is for life table is 5%, ln 105, multiply it by 0.5. And if you do that, you should get actuarial science should make sense. This number should be this, like if you compare between this or in general any x should be greater than P of greater or equal if it happens that the death happens exactly at this end of the year a, a, a sorry a, bx px i mean why it should be the premium for the semi-continuous should be bigger because the death it's because uh, it's over like uh, at moment of death which is closer to the year of evaluation closer to the year of x so it gives you a little bit of extra money because instead of waiting until the end of the year and you discount it back right so uh, this relation should be should be easy to understand now let's let's go back again like what we said here p uh, the conti uh, ax semi continuous we said is equal to ax divided by ax right we evaluated and then we said u d d we this one can be calculated p a x equal i over delta p x right now let's do a few other you know remember we have so many formulas if so many formulas so usually you shouldn't now you know you you got the pattern you got the pattern that can go quickly. So what if you calculating P A X for N period and this is continuous and there is one here. Write it. I mean this is again this is a premium. The premium because there is no bar over the P then the premium is paid uh, is paid at the beginning of the year so it's discrete at the beginning of the year but the benefit is uh, 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 received or paid at the moment of death if death occurs between in, uh, x and x plus n after that there is no payment right so this one we can write it immediately a x n over because right now we use u d d 
This can be calculated as now P A X Now you multiply I over lambda A X The denominator is discrete, so no worries about it, right? It's discrete. So then this one can be written a x one the one here n can be written as i over delta now p x if you have the discrete if you have the discrete one you can calculate the semi one by multiplying by i over delta right and it should be the semi continuous should be bigger than the continuous right and want you to be careful about the one here now let's calculate another situation here now let's calculate what if you have p a x n this is continuous we write the same logic here a x n one Oh, there is no one I mean. Let's start with the general one. Right. Now, if you use UDD, we need to be careful here. It's, uh, this one can be a tricky one. This one where errors are made in exams. Now, under UDD here, now this one, P, a x there is no one on top of x so this is uh, by now we I said it many times but with there is no one there is a, a like benefit is paid at moment of death if death occurs between 0 and n x and x plus n and there is one dollar if the individual survive n years will get one unit of insurance paid at that moment so this one we need to split it into its Two, uh, two components plus a x n and the one is paid here right divided by a okay. now let's continue this one there is no one here now this becomes like a x plus i just the uh, uh, split it into two components now this now we use idd here a uh, UDD I meant then probability uh, uh, not probability I meant the premium for A X N the endowment insurance continuous endowment insurance this can we can write it into uh, uh, yeah let's cal write it I over lambda delta A X N divided by A X in. and this now p a x is this one if you remember this is the i over delta now p the fully discrete premium plus n e uh, sorry p premium for x for one so the point i wanted p not to get too excited when we see p a x if there is no one a common mistake that we write it of equal to i over delta p x 
this is a common mistake here, right? Wanted you to see this one does not equal. The, the other ones, they are equal, right? The other ones is, uh, you know, whether you're dealing with this one, it's equal. There is no other term. If you're dealing, the one is here, there is no other term. The one is here, there is no other term. But this one, because it has two terms, it's very important that not to forget this term. Right? So it's not only uh, uh, so that you get the premium from a term uh, insurance, continuous term insurance, and then you adjust it with uh, uh, a UDD uh, adjustment, then you need not to forget that the premium for the endowment insurance. Common mistake that many people do uh, this uh, common mistake. Right? Of course, I mean, you can write the variety of other, other options, like what about if you have H, P, H, P, uh, A, X. Easy. The H, it says, the H on the side here, it says that the premium is paid because there is no bar here. So the premium is, is paid for only H period, right? And now, UDD, we can write HPAX equal I over delta AX divided by AX. I usually, those formulas, you don't need to memorize them. I just, actually, I'm driving them as we speak because once you know the logic, no need to derive. H P A X is equal to I over delta, right? And A X over this one, it will be H P X. So the premium is paid for only H period. Again, those it's not something you know to memorize, but to know the logic. So now what we covered, we covered continuous cases. You know, both benefit are paid at the moment of death, and the premium is paid continuously. One uh, unit uh, uh, P is paid every year continuously. Then we looked at the discrete case, and uh, the discrete case where we looked at you know the uh, like the discrete case that uh, premium is paid at the beginning of the year and insurance benefit is paid at the end of the year. We use the life table. Now we use semi-continuous. Semi-continuous is uh, premium is paid at the beginning of the year, whereas the benefit is paid at the moment of death. And now, now we rela related them to each other. We related the continuous with the semi-continuous and with the, uh, the continuous with uh, the discrete with the semi-continuous. Why? Because so many questions you need to use the life table. So I don't want to give you the same problems that we did last time, uh, but the, uh, in the assignment you have many of them. So you can always use the life table to move from continuous, uh, from discrete to semi-continuous using the I over uh, delta uh, correction uh, under uh, uniform distribution of death. And this, we, we finish this one. Next time we'll take how we calculate if we, the, the period is not yearly, you know, more realistic that the premium is paid not uh, uh, every year, but rather you pay the uh, premium every month. So now we're going to look at a, re a realistic situation like this.